Well, many of you may be trying to figure out your next steps if your car flooded during yesterday's record rainfall. Our Nick Starling spoke with the experts and is live in Fort Worth's West 7th Entertainment District, where yesterday many people found their cars were no longer working. Nick. That's right, Karen. Just about 15 minutes ago, we did see a vehicle get towed away from this area, but there's still several cars out here that are stranded like this one. You can just see the power of the water as this vehicle was kind of lifted up and this tire is here on the sidewalk. And to kind of show you just how much water flooded into this area, this is kind of the debris line. Obviously, more than a foot of water kind of rushed into this area. Let's show you what it looked like yesterday as a lot of flood water just crept into the West 7th District here. Flash flood soaking cars, pulling them out of parking spots and killing the engines. We spoke with an auto mechanic today who tells us because most cars are electronic, once water gets in, it doesn't work well. And if water floods your engine, the pistons can't run, therefore breaking the engine. We also spoke to an insurance council of Texas, and here's what they recommend you do. Start taking pictures immediately to document any damage. Take your car to a safe place. That might require towing it somewhere like a mechanic shop. And work with your insurance to find out policies if you have to need some help with the costs, such as roadside assistance. But there is one big thing that will help you out the most, they say. With auto insurance and flood, you got to have that comprehensive coverage. So you look at a policy and you have collision, you have liability, you have comprehensive. Comprehensive covers those things like broken windshield or, or the things that are just... Uh, kind of happened. And if you don't have that kind of insurance, you're stuck with the bill. Uh, something they say you shouldn't do is to take your car to an impound lot. That can be very costly. Live in Fort Worth, Nick Starling, CBS 11 News. All right, Nick, thank you very much.